RCCG regional pastor and wife resign after pressure to start their own ministry. Pressure. Pressure from who? It is in detail. Pastor Idewu Eliomede, former regional pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, City of God, Region 20, and his wife, Dr. Siju Eliomede, have reportedly resigned from their pastoral rules. The resignation comes amid pressure for them to establish their own ministry following Pastor Eliomede's refusal to serve a three month suspension and transfer to another parish in Ibutemeta. Pastor Eliomede's transfer and subsequent suspension were linked to the controversy surrounding his wife's birthday celebration, which coincided with the church's mourning period for the former CEO of Access Bank Holdings, Herbert Twingwe. Despite the resignation, a new minister, Pastor Charles Wendy, has already taken over as the senior pastor of Region 20 as of Sunday, June 9, 2024. A source close to the matter revealed in an interview with Vanguard that Pastor Eliomede's resignation later has not yet been accepted by the RCCG Governing Council. Since his seven a suspension, the resignation has not been accepted by the Governing Council. The Council will not meet until August when the suspension will lapse. The Church has an exit procedure for pastors of his caliber, the source stated. The Apapa family and RCCG are involved in a collaboration with government and public sector institutions for various charity projects. It's reportedly encouraging Pastor Leo Mede to set up his ministry. This group is known for its involvement in health care, education, infrastructure, citizens' welfare, and capacity building initiatives. The source further commented on the situation during a parallel with Pastor Itwa Ego Dallas was a nation from RCCG to establish his ministry. Whether it is for self gains and desires, just the way they influenced Pastor Itwa Ego Dallo to resign from the RCCG and establish their ministries, only God knows. Now, um, let me go back to this. Their Papa family and RCCG are involved in collaboration with government and public sector institutions for various charity projects. It's reportedly encouraging Pastor Eliomedi to set up his ministry. Anyway, it's in a man, I go tell you, I've been a good I go tell you. Now, I didn't know at this point in time, I didn't know. But to me, this is not even the time. If he wants to set up his own ministry, I think he's going to call people. But if he really, really wants to do it, my dear, it is not the time. Okay, this is not the time. I don't know, Shao, but to me, in my own opinion, this is me saying it is not the time. There's not the time at all. Yeah, because in the eyes of the public, these people are not empathic enough. They don't have empathy. And the leader, as a leader, you must have empathy. If you don't have empathy, when free people from a particular family. Now, please, I'm just saying this, okay? I, this matter, I follow for people who don't trust me than them. But me, I'm just saying, if you don't have empathy when free people from your organization, from your parish, free people from your parish, you understand, died, members of one family. This does not even have anything to do whether they have, they have money or they don't have money, their financial pillars or not. Free people, you should sympathize with them. It should be a period of mourning for your parish, you understand, for your church. You should come outside and show empathy. Even if you born, uh, what's it called, twist, it coincide, my dear. You have to find a way around it. We are serving the public here. The thing is, in this situ in short situations, mm -hmm. in situations like this, that is when you know people management. If you don't have that skill to manage people, you will fall inside trouble. You have to be very careful at this period in time. So I feel if you open this ministry, people will be like, okay, now what you don't define to do sense. It's not like the misery will not grow. Nigerians will move on quickly from things old. Give this thing three months now. We know with the year I'm again. Even if you even open a ministry. But me, I just feel it is not the right time. Make them, they made them cook their head off. Make them stay away from, you know, propaganda. Then, if God call them true, true tomorrow. If you start to young. Okay? After all. Anyway, that's when I want here. Don't make a talk. Huh? Pressure from people, but not from God. You don't see what they talk. <laughs> Business as usual. This person be like saying they read mind. These are the same people that will be saying, God said, God said, God has never spoken to them. 
all in a bit to make the place a merchandise. This is why many churches around the world today do not have goods approval for establishment. Many were established and a few are accepted. The problem is modern Greek Christianity. It is quite unfortunate. It is quite unfortunate that these things happen in the church. There is no more love of God. It is so painful. I Me, mean, that is what I'm saying. Coming out to do things would be to move on too quickly. Huh? Too, too quickly. Many that the church is a business. Pastors are demonic. They are not teaching Christ. They are just for money. Just because a wife misbehaved, you resigned. You want to own a church. People who say attend the church, oh God, you are evil and you are for things of the world. Do you already see people mentality? Now, I'm not saying what this person is saying is true, but you can see what this, people, this person is saying. Just because your child, your, your wife misbehaved, you are leaving, you understand? People are not saying, they're dragging this man on. Hey, the one who is not, the one who is from media. They really they drag the man. And though there are people coming out to say, no, the man, they don't already they drag her before now. Why? Because of, you see, he stand one very beautiful, you know, with, and one eye catching a very attractive building for our sausage, which is under our sausage. You know, he's saying stand up for himself. But the fact that he was the one that was there when it was done. So he pinched people for body and all that. People are not buying the story. People are saying it is true. But me, I'm saying setting up a church at this point in time in the heat of all those things happening. It's me. For me, it's no ideal. This man made a lot of contracts and money from the connection from the late Wigwe. He does not care whatever actions are being taken on him. The church headquarters was not fully aware of how lucrative the branch was. Otherwise, headquarters would have sent one of daddy's sons to oversee the branch. Apart from large loans and shares facilitated by Wigwe for the church, I am sure he will face a disciplinary committee. Those who are not ready to bow to superior authority are the ones usually that are forced that people should obey them. Just call them business. White people will introduce Christianity to Una. They call them practice. Okay, Una. Una. Okay, them know, know they practice and for Nigeria. One small street go get one church. Meanwhile, for UK, one state no get past five church. And if you enter those churches in UK, now black people feel inside. I pity those people where they brush, they brainwash themselves with Christianity. What will that man preach? A member of his church that and he was busy having birthday. You see another angle. You will see he's about to face the reality of his foolishness since he did not want to take only three months corruption. You see with some people, this is not it's not that I'm, I'm saying what they're saying is good, but the thing is you see people's opinion. Ordinary Nigerian pastors like Ilio Media Deboye Komoye. Ordinarily Nigerian pastors like Ilio Mede. Name them a fake. And let me talk more. And self proclaim men of God, they are men of gods, with patience for richness to the detriment of the poor masses. Don't denigrate our gods for alien worship. Beware, my brother. While I try rapper, all right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come here next time.